seven ways God tests the chosen before he uses them. This podcast will unravel God's seven essential tests to prepare his chosen ones for service, drawing lessons from Joseph's life. It highlights the rigorous refinement process as seen in Psalms 105.19, where chosen one's character is thoroughly tested before his or her dreams are realized, emphasizing the journey from preparation to divine purpose. The seven trials for those chosen are number one, service, number two, hiddenness, number three, discouragement, four, faithfulness, five, blessing, six, jealousy, and seven, faith. Test number one, the test of service. In Genesis 37, Joseph's journey begins with a humble task from Jacob. Despite knowing his future prominence, Joseph embraces servitude, highlighting the value of humility and diligence. However, this act of obedience leads to envy and betrayal by his brothers, reflecting the challenges and the trials on path to fulfilling one's destiny. Test number two, the test of hiddenness. Joseph's descent from home to a cistern represents a period of obscurity refining motives and testing true commitment to God. In this unseen phase, one's genuine intentions and reactions to feelings buried or unnoticed are revealed as God uses solitude to purify and confirm authentic devotion. Test number three, the test of discouragement. Joseph's slavery and betrayal present a severe trial, deepening the sting of unexpected betrayal and fostering discouragement and isolation. God shapes your character during these trying times, testing resilience and fortifying spiritual endurance. In Genesis 39, one through three, Joseph admits slavery, upholds excellence and integrity, earning part of his favor and a significant role. This scenario underscores dedication and integrity, even in adversity can draw divine favor. Test number four, the test of faithfulness. More than just consistent action, faithfulness demands excellence, the right attitude and unwavering integrity especially when tested. Joseph exemplifies this in managing Potiphar's house, earning favor despite temptations and challenges. His refusal to even yield to Potiphar's wife, even under pressure, highlights the essence of true faithfulness, a steadfast commitment to values and integrity in all circumstances. Test number five, the test of blessings. At this prosperity in Potiphar's house, Joseph's integrity remained tested. He remained steadfast, not mistaking comfort for dream fulfillment, and resisting temptation. This stage examines maintaining faithfulness amidst abundance as blessings can breed complacency. Despite doing right and facing wrongful imprisonment, Joseph's faith did not waver. Even when the divine setup led to forgotten promises, after aiding the cupbearer, Joseph's consistent integrity and faith shone through, emphasizing resilience in the face of blessings and trials. Test number six, that green-eyed monster, the test of jealousy. Celebrating others' blessings becomes challenging when they achieve what you've desired, especially quickly. Joseph experienced this as the released cupbearer left him in prison. This test gauges your sincerity and rejoicing for others without feeling envy or rivalry, probing the purity of your intentions. Test number seven, the test of faith. Joseph's interpretation of Pharaoh's dream in Genesis 41 signifies a profound leap of faith risking life for divine insight. This moment challenges us to trust God's guidance and courageously step forward towards our destiny, questioning the depth of our faith and readiness to embrace God's plan. So here, once again, are the seven tests of the call ones. Number one, service. Number two, hiddenness. Number three, discouragement. Number four, faithfulness. Number five, blessing six jealousy seven faith father i pray you will help us pass our test we will remain faithful to you we will turn to you in our darkest hour we will remain faithful to your call lord help us to do it give us discernment give us wisdom help us to pass these divine tests so that we may be used for your glory now i want you to say it to him say lord use me for your glory in the name of jesus and because you agree say i share here now is a question for your conversation. Have you passed the chosen test? If not, which of the seven tests are you currently facing? Seeking guidance for your life and family as we rebuild the city? Contact us at Info Rebuild the City to request our comprehensive blueprint plan for success. Let's rebuild the city, Ashay.